from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, September 5th. So we have the moon in Libra energy all day. And of course, the whole point of the moon being in Libra is to find peace, harmony, balance within ourselves, between our heart and our head, our inner realm, our outer realm. We're trying to kind of find a new middle ground in all of the relationship dynamics that we got going on outside of ourselves. And of course, trying to find that peace, harmony and balance within ourselves as well. We're going to have quite a time trying to strike that particular balance here today. We do have six different aspects popping off here today, but all six of them involve the moon, which means that this is a moon day, which means that this is time to emotionally refine where it is that we're going to call the new common ground or the sweet spot that we will be operating from. We waste no time here today. We have the moon in this Libra and energy coming up to bumping into teaming up with the south node in Libra. And that means that we're sitting across from directly opposing the north node in Aries energy. So just a couple of days ago, we had a particular aspect pop off with this particular nodal axis, if you will, that threw us back into the past, even though we were doing so good focusing on the future. We had a little bit of a, let's call it step backwards. And this was even prior to Uranus going retrograde in Taurus energy and Pluto creeping back into that Capricorn energy. We sat with it. Suddenly we were so excited, so inspired to pursue something new, to do better, to be better, that when we had that interaction with that South Node in Libra, that we basically got thrown back in our emotional realm, in our mental realm, into the old, into the old world, the old realm and reality that that old version of self had created. And of course, we're going to experience a little bit of a similar situation. We did have a major shift take place here yesterday with Mars moving into that cancer energy kind of kind of gave us a little bit of a tough vibe, especially seeing how Mars and Pluto did a little bit of an interaction before that happened. And of course, it brought out all the funkiness, all the dark thoughts, all the dark feels. Well, we're going to attempt to resurrect ourselves from that, but it is going to be a test. We are an exam period. If you haven't listened to the Ascension forecast for this week, I'm going to recommend you do so. We are in a chapter right now where this is time to wrap things up. It's time to resolve things, time to bring it to a completion point, a finality point before we jump into brand new chapters. And so this is a test of our emotions, of our headspace. We are in the year of eight and we are going to be thrown back into old emotions. Now we have a couple of choices here. We could let that old thought, that old emotion, that old version of self swallow us up, kind of spit us out, if you will. Or we could use it to put into contrast how far we've come, what it is that we've been able to do to heal, to improve, to better ourselves. And of course, use that framework to keep the forward movement going. That North Node and Aries energy trying to get us on the right path to be a little bit more independent, to really pursue a path of happiness, of inspiration, of joy that maybe not anybody else other than you understands. But this is definitely a quest to know thyself. That is the mission at this current time. And emotionally speaking, we are definitely going to have a true testament to where it is that we can pluck ourselves out of the darkness, kind of shake that old version of self off and how fast we can actually do it. The moon comes up to bump into teams up with Venus. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She rules over this Libra energy. So this is going to be an intense interaction. And of course, she's in Libra energy herself. So this is definitely going to bring the emotions to the forefront, have them rise to the surface of our awareness. We need to realize, again, with a conjunction, what is ending in order for new things to begin. And we can definitely see where, again, new values, new priorities, new wants, needs, desires for our physical realm, for our relationships relationship dynamics for our future, definitely putting into perspective how far we've come. So these back to back little interactions here, throwing us back into the past, hopefully, we are strong enough to not allow ourselves to set up camp there. And we just use it to reframe the present moment where we can have the attitude of gratitude for our growth for e our evolvement. The moon then semi squares Mercury. So, of course, a semi square is highlighting tension and conflict where we're having a hard time getting, in this case, our heart space, the moon, and our head space, Mercury, on the same page. Again, the moon in Libra and energy just wants to stay in the shallow end. We just want to kind of, you know, 
stay where the vibes are light and fluffy. We want to find peace. We want to find harmony. We want to just be in love and have everybody get along and have everything just going tickety-boo. Well, that's great, except for Mercury, ruler of the mental plane. He can't stay in the shallow end. He's in the Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. We are tapping into our raw, authentic self. That's where that Leo energy comes from. And now the new wants, needs, and desires demand us to be bold and brave and courageous to go after it, even if it means tipping the scales in our favor, putting ourselves in a situation where we may become the bad guy in somebody else's storyline. And of course, that's the last thing that the moon and Libra wants. But of course, if we continue to do what we've been doing, we're only ever going to get what it is that we've got. And if we continue to put a fake facade on and try to make sure that everything is peachy keen and we're continuously people pleasing and putting other people's wants and needs and desires before our own, well, that sounds like a very pleasant hell for us to continue to live in. We have to dance to the beat of our own drum. We have to know thyself. We have to get centered in our heart space and chase a dream that maybe it's just us that fully understands, that fully sees, that fully believes in. So we're definitely seeing the tension, the conflict. One part of us, emotionally speaking, wants everything to stay calm, everything to be balanced. The other part of us, our headspace, knows that in order to get out of this present situation and to make a little bit more progress in a new path, we're going to have to rock the boat just a bit. The moon then going to make an awkward interaction with Uranus, the Great Awakener, who is retrograde in this Taurus energy. And again, this is to highlight where it is that we become overly attached to the physical realm, people, places, things. This is illuminating where it is that it's actually acting as a dead weight. And if we continue to hold on desperately to what once was, then we're never going to fully be able to explore what could be. And so emotionally speaking, the Libra energy, the Taurus energy. What do they have in common? Venus. Where's Venus at? In this Libra energy. What is Libra energy? It's indecisive. Okay. We want everything to be happy, peachy keen, but it's not. We want everybody to get along, but they aren't. We want to be happy, to have joy, to have pleasure in our lives. But in order for that to happen, we have to advocate for ourselves. We have to put our wants, needs, and desires first. And those wants, needs, and desires have changed. And because of that, we have to make some major changes in our energy exchanges with the people that we, of course, are interacting with on a daily basis. But we have to make a spontaneous change, which at this particular juncture is cutting off the dead weight distancing ourselves from the people, places, and things that essentially are dragging us down, holding us back from pursuing the path that now our higher self knows that we have to pursue, that we have to do, that we have to build, that we have to create. This is a destabilizing energy in our emotional field, not going to feel good, definitely kind of rattle us up to a situation where we may hold on even tighter to the things that, again, we know we have to be letting go of just because essentially, whether we want to admit it or not, we know that all good things must come to an end. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with the sun. This is going to illuminate a new level of awareness between what it is that we want, need, and desire, what it is that's blocking us, and how it is that we're actually going to go about making some changes. The sun in that Virgo energy is all about adjustments, changes, where we have to fine tune our physical realm, what it is that we could do better, where it is that we have to reframe a couple of things. And of course, emotionally speaking, the goal is to come to some sort of happiness, joy, acceptance for the current circumstances and really align with the path in which we want to pursue from here. But out oh, of this particular interaction, we're definitely going to be illuminated to what is the motivating force. What is the driving force for us right now and what we can do when we visualize where it is that we want to be kind of backtrack to where it is that we currently are and kind of see the distance that is creating this discomfort, this disappointment when we actually try to visualize ourselves moving forward, because again, causes us to kind of tip the scales in our favor, kind of disrupt things, if you will, rock the boat, so to speak. And that is against the Libra energy. We don't want to do that. 
We don't want to do that at all. We don't want to be the bad guy. But in order for us to actually be free to chase our happiness, our dreams, our desires, it is going to cost us our comfort zone. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon making a very harsh interaction with Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower. And of course, he is retrograde in the Pisces energy, wrapping up a very, very long, drawn-out cycle that, of course, is going to bring Saturn into the completion of his own particular cycle through the Zodiac Wheel and prepare us to start fresh early 2025. So we're deconstructing our old visions, our old dreams, we are deconstructing our old belief system. And of course, the light, fluffy vibe that the Libra energy wants us to sit in is definitely not going to be a thing. Why? Because the seriousness, the weight of the world weighing on our shoulders right now for Mr. Saturn, we can't deny it. It is so heavy that it is pushing our heads under even in the shallow end. We're trying to stay positive. We're trying to stay optimistic. But again, there's a heaviness, a weight of responsibility that comes with Mr. Saturn. It is time for us to really shit or get off the pot. We have to get organized. We have to wrap up the old. I know I sound repetitive in saying this, but we're in a wrap up cycle right now. We have to wrap up the old before we can visualize, clearly see the goal, the vision, the dream that we now want to build towards in our mind's eye.